everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd do my What I Got For Christmas 2016. I know I'm a bit late to the bandwagon with this, but if you're anything like me, you'll be watching these well into like June and July because I love these videos so much. So I thought I'd do it anyway. I feel so blessed this year, not because I got tons and tons of presents, just because all the presents I got meant so much. All of them are really personalized and lovely and I know everyone thought so much when they were buying them. So thank you to everyone who got me presents. So a few bits that were in my stocking were of course socks. I got three pairs, three pairs of fluffy socks from Santa, of course. I think Little Miss Chica said if you don't get socks on Christmas, is it even Christmas? I don't think it is. Um, and then I got one of these and I have needed one of these for ages. My mum is very big on not using carrier bags, only using reusable bags, she takes them everywhere. And I have adopted that habit, it's a very good habit to have, but I keep stealing all her bags. So Santa bought me a bag that goes into that little lady bag, so that's so useful and it's going in my handbag. The next present I have wanted for so long, and I don't know why I never bought myself some, but I just never have, and they are these. They are pom-pom makers, and they make French pom-poms. I think they're called, yeah, they're French pom-poms. And these are from Tiger. If you're looking to get some that aren't really expensive like they are in Hobbycraft, so go and check out Tiger. And of course, in the stocking, I also got a selection pack. Is it even a stocking without one of those? I don't know. I got some other bits in my stocking, but honestly, I can't remember what they were. That's really bad. From one of my friends, I got a Santa. I felt really bad because no one else did gifts. I didn't give gifts, and then she surprised us with a Santa. So, thank you, Mariam. From one of my mum's friends who loves Christmas. Christmas is, I've never known someone to love Christmas more than her. I thought I liked Christmas, but she, she loves it. So she got me mint match, match makers, yeah. And she also got me this pen. So I'm a student midwife, so this is very apt, and it's just one of those blood injection-y pens. So thank you, Dawn. Right, so going into the presents I opened on Christmas Day, this is from my uncle and his new wife, Emma. So I've got a new auntie this Christmas, and we spent Christmas with them, and it was so lovely because I've adopted a whole other family which I've never had before, which, so it was so lovely to spend Christmas with them. And I asked for, on my list, I asked for some nice notebooks. Um, I really wanted one nice, lovely notebook that I could write down all my births that I've had. So those are the preceptorship midwives, which are midwives that are newly qualified in their job, have said to do this. Just get a nice notebook and don't know anything confidential and just note down each birth so you can look back on it over the years. And I saw one of their notebooks and it was so lovely how they'd written every single one. So I did ask one of these. So I got this one and it's just embossed with flowers and it's pink and, and it's just pink lined with, from Laura Ashley and it's lovely. It has such a nice feel to it and I've already started writing down my birth so thank you so much for that. And they also got me this one because they weren't sure like what size or anything so I picked that one because it suited the size better but this is also a gorgeous notebook from Jules and it says do the right thing and I would definitely use this. I love writing in really lovely notebooks. So this will definitely get you, so thank you so much. This is something that I asked for. This is a Grillapod and my brother James got this for me. And I literally just, we're very blunt when it comes to Christmas presents. We just send each other exactly what we want because then we know it's like something ticked off the list. And it is just one of these bendy tripods. I've already used it. I used it on Christmas day vlogging and for pictures and things. And I love it. You can attach it if you're out and it's really useful for time lapses and all sorts of things, so thank you James. So I mentioned that I have this whole new family thanks to my uncle getting married this year. So I've only had a, I've never had a grandma before and so I have adopted a new grandma and she got me one of these gift cards that you can use in like all the shops, like any shop. Um, and she got 15 pounds in it, so I feel like so lucky. It's so lovely of her, so thank you. So this next present, I didn't technically get for Christmas, but it is a, still a Christmas present. So I don't know if you're like me, but if I see something that I really not want, it has to be that exact thing. Like if I get something that's really amazing, 
but it's not the exact one. I know I'm gonna be disappointed and I don't know why, it's just me being fussy and I always feel really bad when this happens at Christmas or birthdays, but this happened. I told Rob I wanted a dressing gown and I told him the exact one I wanted, but being a boy, did he translate that to his parents who were asking what I wanted for Christmas? No, but that's okay. So, but Rob's mom said, just take it back and get the exact one that you wanted. So I did, and it's this one from Topshop, and I love it so much. I've been wearing it non-stop, and luckily it was in the sale. And it's got little pom-poms on the ears, and it's this double, almost double layered, so it's fluffy on one side, gray on the other, and honestly, it's the best. I am a massive dressing gown obsessive and this is the best dressing gown I've ever had so thank you so much little Pirazzolo. So now moving on to what my parents bought me, the first one is, they first bought me this which is a Sfig Mammo Monitor, Sfig Mammo Monitor? Oh it's a mouthful, a blood pressure cuff and a stethoscope. Now this is just a cheap set that you can get online and it's actually not good enough to take an actual blood pressure so this is going to go back and I'm going to get one that actually works the velcro isn't actually strong enough to go up to where you need it to go up to but I need one of these because I'm a stupid midwife in case you didn't know but I can mention that all the time and I am absolutely rubbish at taking blood pressure manu manually I'm so bad at it and my friend had one of these and she's been practicing and now she's really good so I asked for this the next thing I asked for, which is also wrong, are these. These are nursing scissors that you put in your top pocket of your uniform to open things like packets and anything else that needs opening. But these are obviously too big to go in your top pocket. They would look ridiculous, but the size wasn't specified online. So I'm actually gonna send these back and get the small ones. The last thing that I asked my parents in terms of midwifery equipment was this. This is a pinard and it's what you manually use to listen in to a baby's heartbeat um, on a pregnant woman and it's actually a wooden one it's what is it rosewood it's actually like a really beautiful pinard um, and this has been replaced now by the electric version which used gel and everything but I still think these are lovely and it's really good practice to use one of these so I'll be taking this out into the community and using it so thank you very much Next, my parents got me this. It's very boring. It's something that I needed, not what I wanted, really. I hate it when you get like, you get to being an adult and you have to ask for things for Christmas that aren't exciting. And this is an external hard drive just because I've got all this video from YouTube and I take so many pictures and I just have so many things that I need to store. So this is one terabyte. So it will be impressive if I fill this up ever. I think this is pretty much a lifetime's worth of data. So. That's very useful. So the last thing that my parents got me is one of those products that goes around, it happens all the time on all the Disney pages where it's sold out everywhere, it's normally Primark and people are buying it and selling it online and so I have no idea how my mum got her hands on this and I have no idea how she knew that I'd love this but it is this light up Mickey head. I did not expect this at all, I was so surprised and I don't know how she got it because it was sold out like everywhere. I even looked for it in our local Primark so she must have been sneaky with it and it's just so gorgeous and classic and it just lights up and it's gonna sit somewhere in my room and look pretty. Oh, I almost forgot, the last thing that my parents slash Santa got me were these Primark slippers. They're just great and fluffy and lovely and you always need these slippers. So now moving on to what my boyfriend got me. We set a limit of, I think we said 30 pounds or 50 pounds, I don't know, but we both blew the limit out of the water as we always do when we set a limit. Um, and he got me some really lovely things. I was so surprised that he did so well. Like, for a guy, he's got very good at presents. He's come a long way. So the first thing I unwrapped was this, and I love this. I don't know how he got the idea. He's been so creative with his presents this year. And it's just a thermos flask that I can take to all my lectures. And on one side it said, says, amazing midwife at your cervix, which I think is hilarious. And on the other side it says, my name, Lucy, yes, I deliver any day, any hour. And I think it's just so appropriate and oh, it's just, I love it so much and I can't wait to sit there and lecture with it and show everyone in my class, so thank you. 
So the next gift he got me was this and I can't believe he remembered to get it. We saw this in the bookshop foils, I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure, when the shops first opened, so like in September, and I said, wow, what a, like I'd love some vegetarian cookbooks because I've only recently turned veggie and I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just eating loads of potato. But, um, so he got me this and he managed to remember and it's the Hungry Student Vegetarian Cookbook and it's got loads of amazing recipes in there and it's got lots of pictures. I hate it when a cookbook doesn't have pictures. Um, I want to see what I'm making and yeah, I can't wait to get into this. I've already started reading it and bookmarking some things so yeah. So the next gift I already mentioned on my Lush haul but they deserve another shout out because they have, oh they're so amazing. So he got me two body lotions. The first one is Dream Cream, and I spoke about this in my other video, but this has changed my life. And if you have any dry skin, eczema, like cracking skin or anything like that, this will change your life. Go and buy it now, you need it. Go, go, go. And honestly, I have used this every day. It has got rid of loads of my eczema. It has been amazing. So thank you, he put so much thought into that one. And this is just another one called Sleepy. It's another one of their best sellers and it smells so, it just smells like lavender. It's bright purple and I'm also loving that one. So the next present, I have been talking about this Etsy store for so long and I have been talking about these pillows for so long and ages ago he said like, oh what characters would you have on it and things and, I, and then I kind of just forgot about it and he was like, oh I'll buy it for you for Christmas and I just completely forgot so when I opened this on Christmas day I was so shocked and so happy and it almost made me cry, I love it. It is this and I can't remember for the life of me what the Etsy store is called but I'll link it somewhere and I'll put the link in the description because they are worth it, it's amazing. It might just be a website, it might not be an Etsy store, but it's a personalised pillow and it's got all my six favourite Disney couples on. So we've got Carl and Ellie, Wally and Eve, which I thought was Eva, but it's not, it's Eve. Um, Mickey and Minnie, Jessie and Buzz, Lady and the Tramp, O'Malley and Duchess, and Lucy and Rob in gold in the middle. And it's perfect, I love it. I've got some black and white Minnie and Mickeys that like go either side and it looks perfect. So moving on to the last thing that I got this Christmas, which was also from Rob, and I knew this was coming, I bought it with him, it was actually in my vlogmas video, but it is this, it is the only thing I got from the Disney Cat Kids and range, and it is the laptop case, and it's gorgeous, it has minis and floral prints on it, and it's gorgeous gold Cat Kids and Disney logo, and it is by far my favourite gift this Christmas, it's so beautiful, I can't even, it's, oh I love it. So the last gift that I got for Christmas is I guess from me to me, um, I did treat myself just after Christmas and I went and got myself a Macbook, I have been wanting a Macbook for so long, I can't, I don't even know when I first started really wanting one but I've never just taken the plunge but this year I need it for uni and for YouTube and everything and I'm loving using it so much. It's honestly changed my life, it's perfect in every way. Thank you so much if you have watched all of this video, it re I really, really appreciate it. Um, let me know in the comments what you got for Christmas, what your favourite thing was that you got for Christmas, and your favourite thing that you gave for Christmas, because Christmas isn't all about getting presents. It would absolutely make my day if you could comment, like, subscribe, any of that, it honestly does make my day. Um, and thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.